Today's topic is fungal arthritis. Fungal arthritis is a rare medical condition characterized by the swelling and inflammation of a joint brought by a fungus microorganism that has invaded the body. There are 50,000 to 200,000 species of fungi, but only about 100 of these cause infectious diseases in humans. This condition most commonly affects the knee joint, although other joints may also be affected. Fungal infection of the joint is a very serious condition that can lead to permanent damage to the joint with loss of function if not treated urgently and properly. Fungal organisms that can cause fungal arthritis include Aspergillus, Candida, and Exerohylum species. Fungal arthritis, also called mycotic arthritis, affects both adult men and women of any age. Causes Fungi arthritis can be caused by any of the invasive types of fungi. The infection can result from directly injecting medications that is contaminated by fungus into the joint. In some cases, a joint can also be infected as a result of contaminated prosthesis used in joint replacement surgery. The condition can also be due to infection in an organ, such as the lungs and intestines, that travels to the joint through the bloodstream. Conditions or fungal infections that can cause fungal arthritis include candidiasis, borotrichosis, coccidiotomycosis, blastomycosis, exrohylum rostratum. This type is the one caused by injecting the joint with a contaminated medication or vial. This, in fact, was the situation in September 2012 when contaminated vials of medications produced by a compounding pharmacy caused a multi-state outbreak of rare and fungal arthritis. Risk factors associated with the condition include having a weakened immune system due to HIV AIDS, cancer, organ transplant, or diabetes. The risk increases if such person travels to, lives, or stays in fungus endemic areas. The growth of fungus is common in geographical regions with warm and humid climate conditions. Symptoms pain, stiffness, and swelling of the joint. Fever, swelling of the ankles, feet, and legs. Restricted range of motion of affected joint. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will carry out a complete evaluation of medical history, thorough physical and joint examination. During the physical examination, the doctor may look for swelling, redness, warmth of joint, and check for range of motion. Other diagnostic options include removal of joint fluid to look for fungus under a microscope, x-ray of the joints, positive antibody test for fungal disease, culture of the joint fluid, synovial biopsy showing fungus. Treatment. The goal of the treatment option is to cure the infection. Fungal infection responds well to treatment with antifungal medications. In severe cases of bone or joint infection, surgery may be required to remove the infected tissue. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.